Hey guys, Grease Monkey 34 here. Coming to you a video about the Honda powered case tractor build. So what are we doing today? It's finally the day. I uh, gonna take out the motor, move it up to the side, and we're gonna gear this thing down even more. So right now we're running a 16 inch uh, V-belt pulley with a one inch bore. And up on the motor, we're running a uh, three and a half inch pulley. So you got that gear ratio, but not low enough. I want it a little bit lower. I want to use high range as like pushing snow and that stuff in the low range for uh, pulling something heavy, heavy. So what do we got here? We got two pillbox bands, one inch, some uh, clips to stop it from uh, axle moving. Then we got a one inch axle with a keyway right, right across. We got two keys. We got a small belt and we got these two pulleys. This is a six inch pulley with a one inch uh, hub. And this is a three and a half inch pulley with a one, in, one inch hub. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna make a jack shaft Gonna take a baron and make a, a little plate on there, angle iron, and make the baron sit about right about there, right across, and there will be another one on this side where the motor used to be. So that'll drive that, and then on the other side of the jack shaft is a three and a half inch with that six inch pulley on here. So that'll gear down on another half. So that should be enough to. Uh, geared down to what I needed. So to get started I already disconnected the throttle linkage and the fuel line. I'm upgrading the fuel line to uh, some rubber hose like normal fuel line hose not this uh, plastic stuff. So I'm gonna unbolt the motor now. I got some I got four 916 bolts so I'm gonna do that and I don't need these spacers. So I'm going to get rid of those and put it back on uh, here. Plus, when I move the whole motor over, I need to weld a piece of C-channel across here for an engine plate to sit on again. So I'm going to get to doing that. Okay guys, I got the motor out. I'm keeping that pulley on the motor, that's three and a half inch. I'm gonna get this all cleaned up here. Oh, there, got some grease and belt dust, it's dust on it. This is all staying the same. Uh, it's gonna be seven and a half inches up where the center of the shaft's gonna be. Okay, guys, I got it somewhat uh, together. I got this bolted on this piece of angle iron to half inch bolts. Now, go on the back here. Then a half inch bolt to hold the pillbox bearing, that bolted on that side. This side I did loose three, I uh, sunk some uh, bolts into the steel and uh, plug welded them. And then I welded them onto the, this piece of a tube, the two by six tube. So that did uh, sit in there, I gotta weld that, get into place. And then I got the jack shaft in, just loose three with the pulleys. So I got a, the three and a half inch here and a six inch there it's geared down then i can hook the put the belt back on yeah so that what it looked like so far next i'm gonna position it nice and straight and then uh, weld this fully okay guys i got it fully welded on then i got everything bolted up as you can see the gear ratio it's gonna be pretty low so I got the keyways in, they, they stick out a little bit, so it's fine if I want to adjust it. I think everything is lined up perfect. Now I'm going to get the motor up here, set it up, and to see where I'm at. Okay guys, I got the Equipiece piece welded on. I didn't know, I don't need a whole piece of C-channel on the side, just need half. So that's what I did. Fully welded it in there. And on the other side here, 
added a little plate sticking on the side here so it'll stick out just a little bit on this side because I want the carburetor more in and I welded the no and I drilled the four holes for the engine and I made this all nice and flat so there's no rocking of the engine you get that how you can crack your engine block and yeah it all mostly ready for the engine to go in and bolt it in Okay guys, the next day, last night I got the motor bolted in, so I got all this, the new engine mount bolted on, same on this side, I added a piece, so all the belts are hooked up, and how that works, so we're going from a 3.5 inch pulley going to a 6 inch, and a 3 inch, 3.5 inch on this jack shaft and down to the 16 so let's see how that goes okay guys I got the new fuel line on new fuel filter I opened it up and then I got a new throttle linkage as you guys can see right about there so that hooked up up to, up to the throttle up here so Let's start the thing up and see how it does where the gear ratio is on now. This is first gear, low range. As you can see, it running pretty, slip pretty slow. See that sixth gear right there. Okay, let's do a speed test.
guys. Hope you guys enjoy watching of me installing the jack shaft gear down. Hoping how hoping everything will be good now. So yeah. I'll post the gear ratios in the description. So hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.